Hey guys, Mr. Rear Frost here, and today what we're watching is a hard point gameplay. Uh, if, if you do watch my good mate Boston, uh, Chaos, he actually uploaded this video uh, to his channel. And I thought, you know what, maybe I should put it on mine. It was one of my uh, first hard point games. Actually, it was the first hard point game I ever actually played. And I was amazed. I actually dropped the nuclear. I started with the Razorback, and then I had to pick up other people's guns. Um, obviously, uh, the, the game when it came out at the start, you didn't have scavs, so you're sort of deprived. But what I want to talk about today is, one thing I noticed is... Levels really did make a difference in the beta build, and I'm wondering if that's going to transfer over in the actual main game itself. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because I do know for a fact that they are bringing back the tokens, and one every prestige you get one permanent token. So what I'm assuming is same it, like the same rules apply after every prestige you unlock something you want now when i when i noticed that i finally after they boost the max level to 20 oh 28 at the start i noticed when i hit that level 28 i had so many guns especially the m8 for example where as soon as you hit that 28 peak you were really really handing people the sausage now I'm assuming that's going to be the same when the main game comes out. I'm assuming there's going to be certain levels, whether it's going to be an M8 or the M27, which is the, the new assault rifle that's coming, um, that's been released. I'm assuming there's going to be a certain level where you will be able to peak. Now, if that is true, you want to grind the game out as quick as you can at the start, because I know for me, the main one I'll probably do at the start is I'll probably unlock a VSAT, and then I'm probably going to unlock either Scavenger or a weapon, depending how good the weapon really is. Now, I know I know. normally other CODs I would have unlocked Scav straight away, but this game I found the guns are all really, really equally balanced and I don't feel like it is needed at all or one bit. Like, honestly, I think they've done a good job. Hopefully the guns, except the M8, obviously that needs a nerf, but hopefully the rest of the guns uh, stay the same. Obviously Razeback got a nerf as well, but we already know that shit, but I hope... I hope they don't fuck anything up. I hope the snipers... I, I do think the snipers need a little bit of a buff. Um, not with the aim assist. It's good that they don't have aim assist, but they need to be a little bit easy to use. Um, don't know how they're going to fix that, but that's the only thing I have really to say about that. But I hope I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Just a little uh, nuclear. First game ever of hard point. I'll show you at the end of the game so I can prove it. And then, Yeah, fucking it was a good time. Good game, the old mate dominated was kill stealing me. It was kill stealing me. But we got there in the end. Have a good day.